and welcome to another weird video and this time is a Halloween tutorial like I fucking promised. Now in this tutorial I'm gonna teach you how to create this what I call infected demon. I think it ends up being a bit fashionable, I don't know, it's like a full-on makeup with a twist on it. If you want to know how I got to this then keep on watching. So for this makeup, the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to have to hydrate your face first. But I think you already know that. So before I start applying any makeup at all, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the contacts on. And I'm going to use two different styles, both from Sclera contact lenses. I'm going to leave their link down below and as I told you before, of course, I'm going to talk about them because there's my face on it. So don't forget to check the links down below. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a full blind out on one eye and I'm going to put just a white contact on the other. So I'm going to start with a white out contact, which makes you look as if you were blind. So as you can see, the first contact is on. And the reason why I'm putting two different ones is because I cannot see almost anything with this thing on. So the other one allows me to see what the fuck I'm doing. Okay, so on to our second part of the makeup. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill the entire base coat with Manic Panic Dream Tone that Attitude Holland kindly sent me and I owe you so many kisses and hugs. Thank you. So I'm just gonna put it on the back of my hand a few pumps. And with a damped beauty blender, I'm gonna just put it all over the face. So after the foundation is applied, we're gonna put a bit of setting powder. Now, if you want to, you can drag the foundation a bit lower down the neck, but I just prefer to do it like this. But you can do it whatever way you like. Now, with the face done, we're gonna start with the eye makeup. And for that, I'm gonna start with the Metal Matte Palette that Kat Von D kindly sent me. Kat, I'm so, so thankful for this. So, a massive, huge thank you to you and the Kat Von D beauty team. You guys are incredible. I feel like I got a hair somewhere around here, but I can't see it. Mm, can you see it? Yeah. So I'm gonna start with this shade that says, that's called Oak. And you put it all over your eyelid. Something really cool about these shades is that I literally just do this. And you don't need more. They are super pigmented. Oh shit, I cannot see anything from this side. Oh. I have no idea what I'm doing because I cannot see anything from this side. Mm, not looking good. Not looking good at all. I'm sorry, can I just do my makeup like this for a little bit? Sorry, I'm so sorry. Okay, so maybe this isn't too bad. So now we're gonna pick this shade that says sweat and we're gonna put it on our crease and drag it a bit to the outside. I'm also gonna add a bit on the bottom of the eye. Now, on top of everything, we're gonna add a third shade from the Metal Matte Palette, which is Stone. And I'm not sure if I can quite describe it as grey, but it sort of looks like a desaturated green. Like, 80% desaturated, almost grey, but with a green undertone, maybe. Maybe. And we're just gonna grab a tiny bit and put it on the lid again. And with this shade, we're gonna also gonna drag it a little bit to the outside. And this is how it should look like with the third shade on top. Now, the fourth shade we're gonna use for this makeup is the shade Jet, which is a deep, deep, deep fucking black. Like, I've never seen such a black. You know when you get an eyeshadow that is supposed to be black and then when you put it on, it just fades? That doesn't happen with Jet. Jet is like pure fucking metal. Again, we're gonna just take a small amount of it, put it on the eyelid and drag it a bit to the outside as well. And what I'm 
And what we're gonna do now is add a bit more around of that first shade called Sweat. Now the next step is creating those little veins around the eyes. So for that, with a really thin brush, we're gonna mix velvet and ribbon. That should make a bit of like an infected look. Now we're gonna add a bit of velvet on the bottom part of the eye. Now, these are not too good. If you can, I'd advise you to make thinner lines. So on top of this, we're gonna line it with a blue pencil. So on top of this, we're gonna add a bit more of sweat. I'm not quite enjoying how this is turning out, but I think the thinner you can make it, the better it will work. I just am not liking the result of this. And you know what? That's all right. Like, I'm not a pro. I never said I was a pro, so whatever. So after the eyes, we're going to go with the lips. What we're going to do is we're going to line it with an eyeshadow to make it look infected and then drag it and then put a lipstick on top of it. I'm gonna pick the same eyeshadow, which is velvet, and I'm gonna start creating the contour of the lips. Okay, so this is how the eyeshadow should look like. Now, on top of this, we're gonna add Lime Crimes Black Velvet Liquid Lipstick. And please don't mind if this is not looking perfect, it's not supposed to. Now, with this being done, we're gonna add the ribbon eyeshadow and create a few lines now just to make this a bit more interesting let's darken the entire lips with a bit of black eyeshadow and this is how it should look like so far Now, to create a bit extra volume, we're going to add Kat Von D's Vampire Liquid Lipstick in the center of the lips. And on top of this, I'm going to add a bit of the Velvet Eyeshadow. And now you get a little bit extra dimension on the center of the lip, instead of just having full black lipstick. Now we're finally going to add a bit of contour. And for that I'm using, obviously, Lunatic Cosmetic Labs Contour Book. This is just the best contour book of all fucking time. And I think we're just going to go with this darker shade. For that I'm going to use this weird shape brush. I don't know what you call this. And I'm going to add a lot of it to the cheekbones. Okay, now that should do it. And we're also going to add the same shade to do the nose contouring. Now, don't be scared to over contour because it's a Halloween makeup. Plus, I think I over contour it every fucking day. Now we're getting to the fun part of the tutorial. So a few months ago, I bought little devil horns on eBay, but I've never tried these before. I have no idea how this is gonna go. I really wanted to add just, you know, devil horns to the makeup and then make it look like you're an infected demon or something. So it comes with these glue packets, I don't know, liquid adhesive. I suppose this should be it. So before doing them, I'm gonna put it 
on the spot that I want it then do a little line around it and drag a bit of eyeshadow to make it look like it's infected as well and for that I'm going to use the sweat eyeshadow first Okay, so we have our little mark. Before I glue the horns on my forehead, I'm gonna do the infected look with the eyeshadow first and then glue it on top. This is looking messy as fuck. Okay, so now I'm gonna add the fucking horn on my forehead. And here goes nothing. I've never tried this shit before. Mm. What the f this is weird as fuck, man. Okay, are you ready? Because I'm not. Let's... Let's try it. Should I just hold it until it dries? Feels weird. I think if I was a demon, I'd be expelled because I'm so whiny all the time. Oh! Does it stick? It sticks! Miracle! But I feel like the tiniest move and it's gonna fall. At least I got a little horn. Yeah, got a little horn. Mm, but I feel like it's gonna fall anytime. Okay, so let's do the same for the other side. It's a shame that it only carries two, like it should bring like, I don't know, six. They assume you don't want to wear this every day, but what if I want to? What if I want to wear horns every day, motherfucker? Okay, so this should be it. This is the final makeup look. And I'm just gonna throw a black wig on and some clothing and I'll be right back. So this is the final look of the Halloween makeup. I know the horns look fake as fuck, but if you can find better ones, then the makeup's gonna look better. Again, I feel like I need to say that you know, I'm not a makeup artist, I just use makeup for fun. So I don't care if I'm using wrong techniques or whatever, I just want to create. So obviously I had to put a black hair wig on. This is from Eva Hair and it's amazing. It looks fucking real. You can complete this look in whatever way you want it. I like it with the black wig and the black fur coat. And don't worry, the fur is fake. Don't support animal cruelty. I know this is not looking 100% perfect, but nothing is fucking perfect, so fuck off. So thank you so much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed this weird tutorial and I hope you could find something useful to create your own Halloween makeup. Again, I'm gonna leave all the links of all the products that I use in the description down below. Thank you once again for all the support, all the support towards I work, all the support towards my band, every fucking thing. If you're recreating this look, please tag me in the pictures. I would love to see how it'll look on you. And again, no curse of the day or of the video in this video because this is a Halloween tutorial only. So thank you so much for watching this and I will see you next time. Bye! Fabulous. Mm.